President Moussar, Mr. Mayor, ambassadors, distinguished guests, dear friends, I'm so delighted to share my warmest greetings from Jerusalem as you gather in beautiful Metlika to celebrate an equally beautiful event, the third annual Slovenia-Israel Friendship Day. Here, now, we continue a tradition that began under President Pacho, proudly marking the bonds of friendship between our two nations. Dear President Moussa, I'm so thrilled that we are carrying this tradition forward. I'm also very excited about our contact, and I truly hope to see you soon. And even though I regret being unable to join you in person, I'm so grateful for your presence today. I know that working together, we can continue to bring the relationship between Slovenia and Israel to new heights, and I wish you continued success in your role. Dear friends, the ties between our nations go back generations, predating even the official establishment of our states. We will forever be connected by the sacrifices of our parents and their brave story amidst the ugly forces of Nazism and fascism in Europe in those days, eight decades ago. I'm deeply touched that Slovenia has embraced the story of Hannah Senesh and her heroic colleagues. Their courage knew no bounds, and they continue to inspire us as testament to the potential heights of human bravery. It is especially fitting that a representative of the Hannah Senesh House is participating this year in the event. The strength of our past holds great power and promise to our present and future. And in fact, there's a great deal of potential for exchange and cooperation between our nations. So much is already being done now and hopefully so much more in the future. Thriving commercial, scientific, technological and cultural collaborations allow us to join hands and to be so much more than each of us would be alone. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate Slovenia on its recent election to the United Nations Security Council as a non-permanent member. It's a huge achievement, and I'm certain you will use your position to effectively advocate for the most pressing matters facing humanity, including climate change and water conservation. These are areas which are deeply important to the State of Israel and to me personally. Once again, on this day of celebration, let us join together to honor our past and commit ourselves to working in partnership towards a joint future of prosperity and friendship. Thank you very much. Toda to all of you.